Hello and welcome to Pock and Rob. As you probably know, it's a period of political turmoil in my home country, the United Kingdom. This very week we have seen the resignation of our Prime Minister after a mere 44 days in office, giving her the unwanted distinction of being the shortest serving Prime Minister in UK history. In recognition of that, this week's video will be, firstly, quite short, and secondly, is themed around my top 15 sub two minute songs. Before I dive into it, I will do the usual and remind you to hit the thumbs up. Like really helps this show up in YouTube algorithms. Join the subscribers by clicking the subscribe button and then hit the bell to receive notifications of future content. And let's go in with number 15, which is track two from 1977's David Bowie album, Low, It's Breaking Glass. This track is a great punchy little song and it runs at a mere one minute and 51 seconds. Number 14, I have paced the shortest song on this entire list. It's from 1989 and it's from the album Lincoln by They Might Be Giants. It's Shoehorn With Teeth. This is just a great 1 minute 13 track of inspired lyrical silliness. At number 13, I have placed a proper hit single. And it is Little Deuce Coop by The Beach Boys. This is my copy of The Beach Boys 20 Golden Greats. I really like this song, I've loved it ever since I first heard it. I'm astonished to find that it's only 1 minute and 38 seconds in length because it feels longer, but in a good way. At number 12, we have the opening track of an album by one of my favourite bands. It is their very first album. It's Deacon Blue and Rain Town, and the track is Born in a Storm. Now, this is only 1 minute and 33 seconds. It serves as the album scene setter, and yes, the music slightly segues into... Rain Town itself, but it's a legitimate standalone song. Number 12, Born in a Storm. Number 11 is a track that I don't own, and it's not the first time that this particular individual will appear. A lot of early rock and roll tracks are in the sub two minute level, but I've picked Cut Across Shorty by Eddie Cochran. It's 1 minute 48. It was, I believe, the last thing that Eddie Cochran recorded. And it's a great song. At number 11, coming in at 1 minute 52, it's Hold On by John Lennon from John Lennon and the Plastic Ono Band. This is probably one of the highlights of a difficult listen, this album. But Hold On, 1 minute 52, great song. Beating his former bandmate by One Place. From his debut album, McCartney, I have picked Junk. Junk is a great song, definitely could have made it onto the White Album. Some would say possibly should have been recorded for the White Album. But it's a mere 1 minute 54 and is actually available in a longer version, which is instrumental, which is sing-along junk. But the original with the lyrics is a mere 1 minute and 54 seconds. At number 9, I have placed a track that opens one of my favourite punk new wave albums this artist has a number of tracks that are sub two minutes from his early five or six albums it's elvis costello and the opening track from this album no action an absolutely barnstorming band performance it's only one minute and 57 seconds and number seven from the aforementioned white album is i will 1 minute 46, the penultimate track on disc 1 of the original record, purely McCartney. I don't believe there's another Beatle on it, but it's an absolutely beautiful song, I Will. There are several sub two minute tracks on the White Album, but by far, I Will is the best one of them for me. Number 6 is a band from the 1980s. It is The Smiths and... Please, please, please let me get what I want. This is the closing track on the Hatful of Hollow compilation and it only runs to 1 minute and 50 seconds. 
absolutely fantastic touchstone of 80s indie music. Into my top five now. And this track was written quite a long time before it was finally recorded in 1964. It's I'll Follow the Sun from Beatles for Sale. Not my favourite Beatles album, but I'll Follow the Sun is one of my favourite Beatles songs. It's one minute and 49 of absolutely magical Beatle performance. I think it's a wonderful song. I'll follow the sun. And number four, clocking in at a mere one minute and 42 seconds, is one of the most important songs in rock and roll music. It's Eddie Cochran again with 20 Flight Rock. Why is this track so important? Well, it was the song that McCartney played on the day that he and Lennon met for the first time. Without 20 Flight Rock, which Lennon told McCartney on that day was one of his favourites, that friendship may never have happened and we may never have had the great music that is the Beatles. 20 Flight Rock, an important song, but only one minute and 42 of it. And number three, for their second entry on this list, it's They Might Be Giants Again, and it's Particle Man from what I think is their masterpiece, Flood. Particle Man is an absolutely great song. Just flies by, and it's the longest song on this list at 1 minute and 59 seconds, just sliding in underneath the barrier. And number two is a 1 minute 58 song, and it's part of a much, much longer piece, but... Unlike some of the other sub two minute songs that make that piece up, this song truly can stand alone. Especially as it was released as a single by someone else later, it's She Came In Through The Bathroom Window from Abbey Road. I toyed with Golden Slumbers, but for me, Golden Slumbers you can't really divorce from the last three tracks. Whereas She Came In Through The Bathroom Window, I think you just about can. One minute, 58 seconds. My number two. Which brings me to my final selection. And probably the only song on here that would even come close to making my top 100 songs of all time, although it did not. It's a return to Elvis Costello. And it's Hoover Factory. This was first released on the 10 Bloody Marys and 10 How's Your Fathers compilation, or I believe it was on Taking Liberties in the US. It wasn't attached to a single as a B-side, it was just a standalone track that ended up on that compilation and it's phenomenal. It says, in some ways it says almost nothing, but at the same time it's just a perfect Elvis Costello song. One minute, 43 seconds, Hoover Factory by Elvis Costello makes my number one. So that concludes this short video. What are your favourite sub two minute songs? Let me know in the comments below. There's bound to be several that I've either never heard or actually I don't like. Let me know in the comments and we'll have a debate. I remind you before I go to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. I'll be back in a week with another video which is more than can be said of Liz Truss. But until then, thanks for watching.